Hello, and welcome to this video introduction of the 2019 Permit Technician Checklists. These checklists were developed based on feedback from over 100 permit technicians. They cover the most frequent permit projects and will assist you in verifying all required information during application intake. This video is the first in a two-part series. In this video, we'll review how to download the checklists and see the types of projects they focus on. In the next video, you'll get more familiar with how they are organized and practice using them. To find the checklists online, go to energycodeace.com, click on the Resources ACE header, and then click on Checklists. From here, you can print out a hard copy of the checklist for your desk, download a copy to your device, or bookmark their location on the Energy Code ACE website so that you'll always have access to the most recent version. The checklists are provided as PDF files, so you'll need Adobe Acrobat Reader to view them. If you don't have this program installed on your device, you can download Adobe Acrobat Reader for free at https colon slash slash get dot adobe dot com slash reader. Now that you know where to find the checklists, let's talk more about their purpose and the types of projects they can assist you with. If a home project triggers the energy code, its proposed design and construction must demonstrate compliance with energy efficiency standards. The energy code allows for two options to do this, the prescriptive approach and the performance approach. The prescriptive approach uses a project's scope and climate zone location to generate a list of applicable energy requirements. To comply, all requirements must be met. Missing just one will make the project fall out of compliance. The performance approach is a more flexible pathway for building customization, but it requires special software to analyze the project's energy efficiency and verify it will at least match or exceed the prescriptive baseline. Note that there is also a set of requirements called mandatory measures. They must always be met or exceeded regardless of the chosen compliance pathway. Because the average homeowner will likely opt for the simplest and least costly approach, your checklists are designed to focus on permit applications submitted under the prescriptive approach. Think of the permit technician checklists as a job aid designed for your use in intake and evaluating permit applications for compliance with 2019 Energy Code. As a job aid, they are written to assist you with quick triage of incoming permit requests under 2019 Energy Code, direct links to applicable Energy Code sections and compliance forms, further resources for permit applicants to understand code requirements. In fact, you can print out an extra copy to hand out directly to customers asking for more information. Ready to dive in? Let's look at how they work and the types of projects they can assist you with. There are five checklists included in your Climate Zone packet. Each checklist will cover the 2019 Energy Code requirements for a different type of residential alteration project. These projects are Window and Skylight Alterations Reroofing Water Heating System Alterations HVAC System Alterations and simple remodels. These alteration projects involve only the existing home. For example, a simple re-roof or water heater change-out. Because the energy code has different requirements for additions and new construction, these checklists should not be used for those types of projects. Additionally, these checklists should not be used for extensive renovations of an existing home or any projects requiring additional submission of design drawings. Each checklist will show energy code requirements specific to your climate zone. So, if you review project submissions for Climate Zone 10, ensure that your set of permit technician checklists all indicate Climate Zone 10. If the scope of your job covers more than one climate zone, keep a set of checklists for each climate zone on hand. Not sure where a submitted project permit's climate zone is? The California Energy Commission provides a way to find it by interactive map or zip code on their website. 
In the next video, you'll look at a sample checklist to see how it's organized. Then we'll walk through a permit intake scenario so you can see the checklist in action.